for me, that the book will be like this. Samantha will go to the woods and will be caught by Rachel that takes she and her sister Jessica to the lake. At the lake, Rachel makes a big speech and explains everything that happened. Samantha and Jessica together threw Rachel into the lake and she died drowning. it. After that, the real Rachel got out the sketchbook. After that, they went back to home and Rachel and Samantha are friends again. Hi, my ideas for the end of the book are really disappointed. I think that Samantha will save Jessica and have a redemption, talking up with Rachel, and everything will come back to normal. Uh, and about the hallucination thing, I think that Samantha will think that it's just a dream, but in the truth, it's a monster teaching her a lesson. Samantha was the only one who could stop her own monster. So she sent an anonymous message to Rachel inviting her to go to the lake. When they arrived at the lake, the two started a fight. But Samantha already had a plan. So Samantha's parents arrived at the lake. They took pictures of Rachel assaulting Samantha and told Rachel if she didn't leave forever, they would show the photos to the police. So Rachel fell into the lake and started swimming without direction. We don't know, but probably Rachel is dead. And Samantha finally had peace. Samantha went to the lake with the sketchbook and saw the evil Rachel reaching her. The evil Rachel said, Here you are, Samantha. Samantha threw the sketchbook on the floor and said, I didn't want to push you into the lake. Rachel answers, It's too late, Samantha. And now I will push you into the lake. Before Samantha died, she shouted, Sorry for everything that I made for you. After these words, the real Rachel appeared and jumped to save her friend. Samantha's parents appeared there too to save their daughter. Conclusion Samantha returns to be Rachel's best friend. Her family now is a happy family, and Samantha made more friends. Hey, Isabel, I'm gonna talk now about the what I think happened in the end of Underground. I think. Rachel did a plan, an entire plan, that he plans everything, but if something goes wrong, it wants to ruin all the plan. But she will think uh, probably that Samantha will think that ah, if this goes wrong, nothing can go wrong now because this was the only thing in her plan. No. So Samantha will have another plan that will like, if something happens, she already have someone like hacking or more people seeing or already called someone to help. Something like this, at least I think it will be the end of the uh, Undrowned. My opinion of the last chapters of the Undrowned. For me, Samantha founds Rachel and Jessica in the woods and Rachel wants to push Jessica into the lake. And Samantha opened the sketchbook and the sketchbook started to pass a lot of moments that Samantha treats Rachel badly. And she recognized what she did and she knew what to do. She said sorry for Rachel and apologized for her for all the bad things that she did. And she said that she is a monster and hugged Rachel. And in this moment, something shined. And Rachel wake up and she was a real Rachel. And Samantha and Rachel become friends again. And her relationship with her family is getting better. For me, this is the end of the Android. So it's Maggie Ann and today I'll talk about the Android. So I think all the biggest problems and hallucinations that Samantha is having is because like she feels like a murder because that's happening that she killed Rachel and I think this is when all these hallucinations started. Hi uh, Julian and Isabel, now I'm talking about the how I think will be the end of the round. I think we will be like that. I think Rachel will kill Samantha and Jessica. And some, uh, Rachel will be a bad girl of the rest of her life. And she never make more friends because everybody will be scared to her.